update on this story now. A USF assistant basketball coach is no longer with the team after a, re a report found that he made inappropriate comments to players. Tom Herrian's contract has not been renewed with the university after an outside investigator found he made either racially charged or inappropriate remarks to players at practice. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is looking at that report for us tonight and joins us now live from USF with more. Evan? Well, the report detailed a team that is actually quite close with one another and spent a lot of time talking about racial and social justice issues. But the report also says one coach went too far. Assistant coach Tom Herrian's intensity will no longer be on display at practice after a report found he said things players considered racist or were understandably mistaken for thinking so. It was just hurtful that people still do what they do. In 23 pages, an Alabama law firm hired by USF detailed an investigation into four comments players described as problematic or potentially racist. After interviewing 17 players and staffers since the complaints were made in March, three comments were substantiated, including one where he saw a player wearing a sweatshirt supporting historically black colleges, and he asked, what's up with all that black? I thought you were. He also told the player to run like the police were chasing him. Athletic director Michael Kelly said in a statement that the interactions were simply unacceptable. Following the review, Kelly has decided not to renew his contract. In the report, Herrian denied making the black college's remark. On the running from the police comment, he said he made it because he knew the player had briefly been in trouble years before. The report also found that those two remarks constituted misconduct, but that while they were grossly tone deaf, he did not violate the school's diversity rules, which call for patterns of harassment. The NAACP wants those rules toughened up. It is not strong enough to protect um, the vulnerable. Brian Gregory remains the head coach, with the report detailing previous efforts like participating in racial justice marches, advocacy planning, and having discussions about civil rights leaders John Lewis and Martin Luther King. The report says there is essentially no evidence that Coach Gregory or his staff failed to address a known racial problem. Nathan Bond covers USF for the Daily Stampede. On the court product aside, you got to make sure you're doing the right things off the court. And I know Brian Gregory has harped on this for his four years at USF to make it a family. The report also looked at why nine players transferred after the end of last season, and it turns out only two of them transferred because of the issues with Coach Herrion. The athletic director was not made available for an interview today, but we are hoping for that later on this summer. Guys, back to you. Evan Axelbank live for us tonight at USF in Tampa. Thank you, Evan.